Now that we've got Dratus installed, we can actually start it up. So the first thing I need to do is go and find Dratus here in the list of programs and you can see there's a start server. And what that's going to do is it's going to launch Ruby on Rails and load up the application. So once the application is running, we can go to the website for the application, which of course is stored here on the local host 127.0.0.1 and the port that they have chosen is port 3004. So we're going to connect to port 3004 and we're going to log in. Now it's actually logged me in. I've created the login previously and before that would, it would actually ask you to create a server password which is shared across all of the users. So the first thing we see here is a Dratus framework branch right here or a folder. And inside of that is actually some documentation. So here's the documentation. It's what's new and we can go to getting help and it will load up the getting help page here. And you can see inside this pane here is actually the list of notes that are inside this particular branch. So let's actually add a branch here and we're going to call it internal testing. And what I want to do here is I actually want to import some information. So I'm going to import from file and I'm going to use the new importer. And so that's going to bring up the importer and I can select which type of file I'm going to upload. In this case, I'm actually going to import a Nikto file just to have something in the database here. So I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to open up this file. It's actually going to do the importing for me. It says it's done. So we can go back to the framework page and now we've got the information that was loaded in from Nikto. So you start to see that it creates this new branch here and we've got the information that was generated from that Nikto XML file. And then we've got all of the results that Nikto was able to find. So it's a pretty simple web interface here. And we've got a number of folders or branches as they call them here. You can see we can add branch. And then over here inside the branch, you can set categories and add notes. And over here, we've got a configuration button so we can change different configurations. And this has to do with the different plugins that are available as well as just some basic information about Dratus and how it's actually running. And I'm not actually going to change anything here. So we're going to close this out and go back to Dratus and going to begin adding some notes and doing categories in the next couple of lessons.